Today we're going to take a look at Illustrious 1.1, which is an anime imaging model available on Tensor Art, which are actually the sponsor of today's video, and there's a link in the description if you want to check them out. Now this is the first time I've covered Tensor Art on this channel, but I'm also not only going to check out Illustrious 1.1, we're going to have a quick look at how this platform works, and so you can see how suitable it is for you. Now when you first log into Tensor Art, if you scroll down under Models, there's Illustrious Excel version 1.1. Now when I click that, we get some information about the model. Now you can scroll down and read a little bit of information about it, or you can even check out some of the more technical information and even see some of the art that's been produced with this model. But what I really like on the right is the ability to talk to the model, which is kind of like a chat GPT style conversation where it produces images using this model in stable diffusion. So I describe to the bot what it is I want to see, which is a very dramatic and cinematic kind of subpunk samurai warrior. And if I come to the right, I can actually click on some settings. So I can choose things such as the aspect ratio, how many images I want, and I can then ask the bot to generate those images for me. Now I want to add, this is not the only way to generate images. There's actually a far more technical AI art image generator in this, which is great if you want a lot more freedom. There's a lot more options of what you get out of a lot of other AI art generators because this seems to be more technical. And this chatbot kind of simplifies things and makes for a nice little entry into the platform. So that way, if you don't want to be bogged down in the technical stuff, you can basically just have a chat and create some images. Now I can come up to the top left here and expand this chat to get a little bit more immersive. And after a few moments, I get my first images. And this is basically how they've come out. So I'm going to ask for an adjustment. I'm gonna say, can I get more of an anime style that looks more like a big budget film? And I can continue just kind of back and forth and chat with the bot until I get the results that I'm after because it's just like talking to a person, like an artist, so to speak. Well, that's the idea of it. So you can make your adjustments on the fly in a more simplified fashion. And from there, right within the chat, I can come down to this little upscaler button. When I click that, it will actually upscale my images and add some more detail to them. So you can see just how the first image goes from fuzzy to sharp. And if you zoom in on some of the details, you can see the difference in the crispness of the outline as well. And again, on this second image, again, we go from fuzzy to sharp. And we zoom in on the details, things are much sharper. So it's not just a doubling of the resolution. The detail seems to be improved. It's taken the image from 1152 by 768 pixels to 2304 by 1536 pixels. So this means you get a pretty decent resolution on your images, but this is just a 2X upscale. There are actually uh, more levels you can go to in the more technical AI art tools. So that's a nice, fun, easy way to start. The idea that you can just sort of converse with the bot and tell it the changes you want and get small updates means you get some pretty awesome images and you don't have to be a technical genius to figure it out. I'll get some really good images like these ones here and I think that the anime style of this model is really, it really does work quite well. It does a great job of capturing the aesthetic, the angles, and even just down to the character design itself. But this is not the only way to use this platform. So on the illustrious Excel information page, if you come down, there's a little button here that says run. And if you click that, you'll be taken to a more detailed image generator. Now you will get recommended some words to use in your negative prompt to get the best results. So I'm gonna click use recommended to use those keywords. Now on the left, you will see we have our various settings such as the model, any laws we wanna add, the aspect ratio, down to things like the seed. We can go through and change a bunch of these settings, but most of them we can actually leave at default. For now, I would like to add an upscale though of double. So whenever I generate an image, it gets upscaled. But also under a detailer, I have a face detailer model to improve the face of my images. Otherwise I come up to the right over here and I remove the prompt that I have in there from previous image. And I'm going to retype a new prompt. So I add a female warrior in Edo, Japan, highly detailed, beautiful face, walking through the woods with a samurai sword, a cinematic screen similar to a Studio Ghibli film. There's actually a couple of typos in there. But otherwise I want to produce two images. I click generate and it will start to generate my image. And now they're done, and you can clearly see these really look like anime screen caps from a Studio Ghibli film. And there are a few little text artifacts in this one, but I'll show you how to get rid of those soon. But coming back, we have a few prompt tools here. We can choose like translation, random, abstract, or we can expand upon the prompt using AI. So I'm gonna click on this to improve our prompt. And after a few moments, we'll get this much more detailed prompt that we can use. So now if I generate, once again, I'm gonna go for two images, I can hit generate to create some more. And from that, we get this nice soft art style, which still suits and is a little bit different than what we expected. But I've come back to our original prompt because I want to change the Studio Ghibli look to something different. 
I have a screen cap from the film Ninja Scroll, Dramatic Lighting and Fire, to see what kind of different style we can generate. And again, we get this nice aesthetic, a little bit different than before. But also, I have this other image here, which I think looks pretty good. But if we come down, we've got some lettering down here that we'd like to get rid of. But also, I'd like to improve the face just a little bit. So let's explore our options. So I come to our image and on the right, in the upper right hand corner, if I hover on this button and click it, I get a few options. I have things like remix, I can send it to an image to image or image to video, I can upscale it. But there's also the after detailer. So if I click on that, we get some options on the left. We have various different profiles like face, hand, person, things we can fix. I wanna fix the face, so I'm gonna leave it on face. And if I want to, I can add a Laura. This can add a little style to the face. So I'll go with atmosphere just as a bit of a test. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Don't want it to be too influential. And for now, I'm gonna leave it at that and go and hit generate to see what it produces. So here we have our original image. We zoom in on the face, there's a few sort of like scars, markings, that kind of thing. We switch to the new image and the face has been cleaned up a fair bit. Pop them side by side and you can see exactly what I mean. The updated face is just a little bit better. So having these little after detailer functions can help you clean up some details in your images. But we still have the issue of the text that shows up on the image. So we're gonna use the editor to try and remove that text and get something just a little bit cleaner. Now I found the best way to do this is to hover over the image and go to the download icon to download the image to your computer. From there, head up to image to image at the top left. You'll then see some of the other options like image to image, upscaler, a detailer. We wanna to go to in painting to edit our image. I then drag and drop the image we created earlier. And once that is finished uploading, we can go through and actually paint over the area that we wanna get rid of. I like to make sure I cover a decent chunk of it so there's no possibility of it remaining. I hit confirm. And I'm gonna bring the denoising strength up to full because I want it to completely remove that text and not leave any trace of it behind. And I'm gonna go with a random seed because I wanna see what different results I can get when I edit this area. Otherwise, I think all the settings are good. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna change the prompt. I have a female warrior walking. I'm also gonna add into my negative prompt here something I don't wanna see, such as text, letters, symbols, and kanji to make sure we don't just generate that again. And I submit that and it's done pretty much as instructed with one difference. It actually has not filled in the floor because we haven't included it in our prompt. Now, as I mentioned before, this is where you're gonna to have to experiment a little bit to see what results you get and make adjustments as you go. So once again, it might take a few turns to actually get what you want, but let's try again by adding to our prompt. So this time I add on a wooden floor, dull green color to help describe what's gonna be around her feet. And this time we get the floor added in there and everything seems to be looking pretty well. And even that little bit of light behind the figure kind of shines through and we get a much better result. So you see this is a far more detailed AI art platform than some of the more simplistic ones out there. This means if you're kind of tired of the simplicity, you can get a bit more control and go deeper and add the polish with those final editing tools that you need. And if that's a little bit too much for you, you can always chat to the bot if you want something similar and you want to ease your way in. But I continued to experiment with Illustrious XL 1.1 and it is a Tensor Art exclusive model and just the really nice cool anime style that you get from this model is a lot of fun to play with and i find it's actually got a lot of flexibility if you want to kind of stretch it and go in other directions with it as well but don't forget you can actually discover a lot of art by going to the illustrious xl page going down to posts and you'll see art that's been created using this model and if you click on one you like you can head to remix you can make some changes to it if you want to but otherwise you can use all the same settings submit and create your own artwork using those same settings and that same prompt but also if we head back to the home page and scroll down to models you can see the vast range of different types of ai art models that tensor art has it's actually a very very in-depth platform there's a ton to choose from and they can all be a lot of fun to play with what's really cool is if you use stable diffusion locally you can open up some of these models and this is an Animagine XL. You can actually download the model. Now, not all models are downloadable, but this one in particular is. And as before, I'd come over here and talk to the model like we did with Illustrious and type in something like, the Terminator reimagined as an Evangelion from Neon Genesis Evangelion cartoon, highly detailed anime style imagery. Submit that. Then we can continue to talk to the model from there to fine tune what we're after. And I think that these two images are a pretty good blend of Terminator style aesthetics with Evangelion, so that was a pretty fun little experiment. 
Now, tensile art is way too in-depth for me to cover all in one video, but I do want to explore a little bit and show you some of the other little AI apps that are available to you. So we're going to come down from models to AI tools. And we have a whole bunch of AI tools down here. Also some quick tools just above. I'm going to go to view all. And you can see here, there's a ton of quick tools you can use as well. So I'm going to try out the AI background remover. And I'm going to take one of the images that we produced earlier. I'm going to drag and drop it into the little image field. And not only does it produce a transparent PNG, but the alpha channel as well. So I can download these and we have our original image. And from there, we can remove the background. And then we also have an alpha if we need that also. This time I'll try the AI face swap. I'm gonna pop this Terminator poster in here and pop my face in here. Hit go. And it's popped my face right onto the poster and even actually generated my beard. So I think that's pretty cool. It's a pretty nifty little tool. And that's a lot of fun, but also incredibly useful. But there's still a lot more we can explore. But if we keep going down to the AI tools section, there are some cool little sort of workflows and that's set up here. For example, Tahi Lalat style, pop in an image of me, give it a go, and we get this beautiful image. And it is a vast improvement over how I actually look. But the details, the hoodie, the necklace, the background, very impressive. Try the same thing as a plush keychain, drag and drop. And again, a lot of fun and does a great job with the details. And all you have to do is check out these tools. You can see it's like a real Swiss army knife of AI tools and workflows. The, uh, the possibilities and different little apps you have in this is just really, really cool and really expansive. You can get lost in this just playing around with these tools. So I've given you a little bit of a taste of Tensor Art and the illustrious Excel version 1.1, but the amount of tools available on Tensor Art, along with the options with this model, I've really only scratched the surface. But I highly recommend you go in and check this out for yourself and have a bit of a play with it. Now, Tensor Art are the sponsor of this video, so there is a link in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful and interesting. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.